as an industry association, we can make representations. We can give data at different forums, and they say yes, we'll take care. But then you know, somebody has to take the lead from the common side. Why on earth would the government take the lead? Do you pay for their marketing? Do you control television? Are you controlling the media in India today? Are you putting Mr. Narendra Modi on television? Any of you? Why are you under the impression that the government will listen to you? Please, please understand the political reality of what is going on here. 39.2% GDP is controlled by MSME sector. They, they don't, they don't give a damn what 39%. Percent. Let me ask you. Let's, 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 let's discuss the structure of the BJP and let me ask you some simple questions. Two minutes, sit down. They have issued the norm for Delhi NCR. जितने भी Delhi NCR में MSME हैं और industries हैं, तो pollution के वजह से उनको gensets allow नहीं किया जाए। कुछ नहीं है सर, सड़कें थोड़ी चौड़ी करनी है, ताकि सड़कें चौड़ी हो, fire की गाड़ी अंदर आ सके। हमारे पे VAT लगता था, 4 percent, उसमें भी raw material पे लगता था, अब 18 percent GST है, वो labour पे भी है और raw material पे भी है। Please understand the reality of what is going on. You're in the way, and you are being taken out of the way. And the way you're being removed from the path is demonetization, is a GST that's designed to kill you, you not being allowed to use generators, why well as monopolists in the country have their own power plants. What you're facing is a financial political monopoly that is out to kill you. We are aware of this subject, but what to do? Organize yourselves. Farmers organized themselves. Farmers did what you couldn't do. They went for the farmers and the farmers bawal macha diya. That's what it was. The farmers put an end to them. Going against the government is harm to the industry. Okay, then then get ready to die. That these are people who have come on their own volition to meet you. Just I'm, I'm emotional about this because I see it. So please don't take what I'm saying in the wrong way. Uh, it's meant from a place of affection. And it's meant from a place of belief in you. I have not come across one small and medium business owner. Not one. Who has said I'm happy and I'm doing it? एक नहीं मिला मुझे मैं पूछ रहा हूँ भैया कैसा है कैसा है धंधा कैसा है धंधा क्या एक ने नहीं बोला That's the reality. So my point is this is not this is not the world is having a tough time economically. You're being destroyed. My problem with it is that if you're destroyed, this country cannot produce jobs because neither Mr. Ambani nor Mr. Adani are producing any jobs. To me, you're actually the backbone of any Indian economic resurgence. Most of the institutions now have been captured by the sort of ruling formation, which means that they actually don't need to listen to voice. Right? And the only way, frankly, to make them listen to voice is to organize yourself properly. Right? Because if you think that you are just being treated unfairly, that's not what's happening. Now you are under attack. There are two different things. Currently, when we think about economic success in India, there is just one word, and that's growth. I think small and medium industry is actually the solution to all these problems. So I would like to place that on the table because I like reality to be clear.